Good morning, everyone. My name is Lorna, and this is my son, Andreas. We are excited to bring you the church school story this morning. We welcome everyone who is joining us, whether you're from Calgary or not from Calgary. We're excited to see all of you. And we hope that you enjoy learning this story as much as we enjoy learning it and telling it to all of you. I hope you're all safe, healthy, and well. And I can't wait to see you again in person when we're all able to. Let's get ready to tell the story today. The Lord be with you and also with you. Very good. The story we're hearing today is from the Bible and you may already know it. Maybe you read it in your Bible. If you have, you can find it in your Bible at Luke chapter 14 verses 15 to 24. I wonder if this is a parable. Well, parables are precious like gold. And this box is gold. It looks like a present. Well, parables are presents. We can't buy them or take them or steal them. They are already ours. There's another reason why this might be a parable. It has a lid. And sometimes parables seem to have lids on but when you lift the lid off the parable, there's something very special inside. I know. Let's lift the lid off this box and see what's inside. wonder what this might be. Yes, it's nice and warm and soft. I wonder if there's something else in here that might help us. There's this. It looks who did such amazing things and said such wonderful things that people began to follow him. As they followed, he told them about a place called the Kingdom of Heaven. But they had never heard of such a place. They had never been to such a place and they didn't know anyone who had. So one day, he told them this. The kingdom of heaven is like this. Once there was a man who invited everybody to come to a great feast. He invited so many people, and when it was ready, he said, Come, for the feast is ready and prepared for you. But the people made excuses. The first person said, I have purchased a field, and I need to tend to it. Please excuse me. The second person said, I have purchased a yoke of oxen, and I need to tend to them. Please excuse me. The 
third person said, I have just gotten married. I can't come. Please excuse me. So the servant said to his master, No one will come. The master said, Go out into the city. Go into the alleys and find the sick and the lame. But there was still space at the table. So he said, Go. Find everybody in every corner of the city. I want my table full. I wonder how it felt to be invited to this great feast. I wonder if these people have names. I wonder why these people came and the others couldn't. I wonder how many could really be at this table. I wonder if you have ever been near a table like this. This is an interesting story this week, isn't it? We heard of a story where many people came to a great feast. And right now our houses can't be full. We can't invite people over to have a great feast because it isn't safe for us to do that right now. This story helps me to remember that even though we can't invite our friends over to our house for a large feast right now, we all belong to God's house, the kingdom of heaven. And God makes sure there is room for all of us there. It's time now to light our Christ candle almost time to change the light. Do you remember why we light our Christ candle? That's right. It's to remember that Christ is the light of the world. Let's bow our heads and pray together. Dear God, we thank you for allowing us to meet together in new and creative ways so we can continue to celebrate your story in the Bible. Help us to remember the kingdom of heaven where you have set a place for us. Today, we also pray for the world where lots of people are feeling afraid. But we remember that Jesus tells us not to be afraid. Help us to be patient as we continue to re remain at home. We pray all of these things in Jesus' name. Amen. It's now time to change the light. And once the light was in one place, Thank you for joining us today. We do hope you enjoyed the story and look forward to seeing you very soon. God go with you. Go in peace.